Today I'm going to be doing a solo run on the moon Duplictus by Sleek Team. It's supposed to be an easy moon, which is a different approach than a lot of modded moons have been taking. Most of them lean towards increased difficulty, but this one's going the opposite. This one's supposed to be an easy moon. It does cost 60 credits, but it promises better loot at the cost of not having starting tools right away. As an experimentation enjoyer myself who doesn't really want to do an experimentation only run since I've already done two of those. I want to see if Duplictus will give me a similar feeling but in a new environment. So yeah, we're gonna go to Duplictus. We're gonna see how far we can go with this. Cost 60 credits. Uh, it looks like we're getting stormy weather. A barren planet once home to a mining operation with underwater seas of oil. And predictable weather making it the most profitable oil refinery in the galaxy long since overrun by mutated slimes believed to be tied to the source of the black seas okay so we should expect higher hy hydrodeer hydrodeer uh, spawns higher slime spawns also i'm just noticing this poster here 200 hours in the game and this is the first time i'm noticing that i only noticed it because in my last video larry replaced all the posters and i went around looking at all of them so if you haven't watched my last video check it out we're gonna go to duplictus it is stormy and that is unfortunate. But, Stormy is not that bad. The only thing about Stormy is that you can get RNG'd. Whoa, okay. Big and purple. There's a pipe there. I wonder if there's something that way because it's orange. Hmm. I'll check that next landing. But I'm assuming that I'm going to have to... Oh, main entrance is this way. Hmm? Okay, well hopefully it's not too far. But I think I'm going to have to go all the way over that way. Um, oh, this is ground. Okay. Pretty trippy. I think this would go well with the that one weather condition that changes all the colors and stuff. I think it, it was one of the... Um, it was an entry for the mod... The mod jam, the Lethal Company mod jam. That, that was so long ago already, and I, I never actually played on it yet. I've been meaning to... But I haven't gotten to it. I'll put it up on the screen here because it's not coming to mind right now. But, um, yeah. I'm just running towards the purple thing because that's probably where the main entrance is at. Already I'm noticing that the distance might give me some difficulty bringing a decent amount of loot back. Especially in a timely amount. Um, okay. This looks like an entrance. Might be two entrances. We'll see if they're just right next to each other. Okay, it's not the big one. It's the small one. Okay. Facility. We're doing no f no gear. Let's just go for it. Get that. Worth 44, not bad. I think we're going to try to get enough so that way we can buy... Oh no, we can't just land leave to buy a flashlight shovel because it'll cost too much. If I leave, I'll have to spend money again to come back. I My original thought was to get enough scrap here to go buy a shovel and flashlight and then come back. I could probably still do it, honestly. Just so that way I'm not doing a lot of this running in the dark stuff. Maybe we just take it easy on the first quota, actually. Yeah, this we're gonna play it a little safe. Cause I don't really want to run in the dark all that much. Not because it's impossible, but I think it'll be a better video if I don't. Um, it would be nice if I can get one more piece of crap. I can just disable Stormy entirely. And I think I will. I think I'll sacrifice the big bolt. Yes. Although this is the one getting struck. I think I remember seeing something on Warps. Okay, well that got struck too. <laughs> I was reading a comment on Warps' video about update 49. I kind of just revisited his channel earlier today. And there was the pinned comment is uh like a long explanation of how stormy weather actually works. It was worth a read, I don't remember everything about it. But it did confirm that leaving a conductive piece of metal on a previous moon- Oh! 
The double is crazy. Will prevent uh, lightning from striking your your items moving forward. Now, in their test, they left multiple pieces. Um, they left multiple pieces of scrap behind. But in my playthroughs, I've only ever left one, and it seems to have worked. But I haven't played in those runs. I didn't play it a lot of Stormy either. So, uh, yeah. I guess we'll see this round if I get a decent amount of Stormy Mother. Also didn't see if there was bees on this map. Conducting again. But yeah, this is why I'm sacrificing 30 scrap now to prevent this delay later. And actually, if I get a jetpack, then the delay is not going to be as bad. So maybe I should... So there, there's going to be a few levels to this. Um, yeah, see, this is super conductive. Look how long it took me to run this one engine back. And then imagine if I had more stuff. I I did see I did see a staircase in the distance over that way. But yeah. Goals right now. Get enough um scrap to meet quota one. To meet quota one, get flashlight and shovel. And after that it's gonna be Whoa. Wait, that almost took me out of the ship. <laughs> um, after that, I'll be getting a jetpack. That way I can make this travel a bit easier. I don't have to force the jetpack early, though. Because I'll just naturally get there in a few quotas. Actually, hmm. It might be nice to do it earlier rather than later. Because... Oh! I only have one more day to meet profit quota? What? I only landed once. Did I continue a save file? On accident? Uh... Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to get... <laughs> I'll, I'll roll with it, it's fine. It's foggy this time. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so that pipe, d that pipe is not something you could actually jump through. <laughs> that was the first science one, let's just kind of run it back. I don't think anyone will be too upset. That I run it back here. So I can't get to the fire exit by doing that pipe jump. Good to know. We'll see if foggy actually matters, because I can act I can see right here, but I might be above Okay. I saw the bottom of the staircase over in that direction. Mm, now we go to the main entrance. I think if I just yeah, if I just follow this. And then run along, we'll be okay. We do have to get at least 140 scrap here. Or, um, sorry. No, at least one, 130 is fine. I, I don't know why I'm thinking I need 130 plus the amount that I need to come back here. Um. Okay. Maybe there's a better route to the main entrance, honestly. I just dropped a message in the Lethal Company modding Discord asking if anyone was working on a parkour map. And now I'm being faced with some parkours that might end my run. Okay, let's reset. I might go for the fire exit instead. I'm not finding... How to get here, but if I can find a way. F I just need to find a way forward. Maybe there's a way that's less intrusive. As long as I keep going in this direction, we should make it. And we're gonna crouch around so we can slightly see the ground. Nico rags on me for saying that you can see better when you're crouched, but I just think it's true. Or see better in the fog. Because you can see more of the ground this way. And sometimes all you need is the ground to line yourself up to where you need to go. That said, I'm now wandering into unknown territory and unsure of if I'm going to make it. Oh, okay. We're on the outside. Fire exit's actually outside the fog. Oh. Main entrance is right there. 
I think we're gonna go... Let's go fire exit. And I said it's outside the bounds of the fog, so that way I can at least orient myself back towards the main entrance. But because it took me so long, I might only have time for one inventory. But as long as one inventory is worth 90, is the, or 86, I'll be good for quota one. Kinda wish this uh, pipe was solid. Oh! Dude. Thank goodness that wasn't a gap, but... That was very careless of me. <laughs> Go. Okay. And we go up to the fire exit here. Very quiet on this side of the map. There's a little opening right there in case you're not paying attention. I'm assuming there's. Oh, it goes around. Oh, okay. <laughs> we enter the void. Big bolt. Let's see if we get anything else. Mm, left hug. I didn't even scan to see how much loot there is on this map. Probably should have. Now this moon did promise better loot than experimentation. Which isn't a very high bar. But the fact that I... Okay, battered metal sheet. Is this the main entrance? No, but it is a big room. We'll check it out. Um, I already don't entirely remember how to get back. <laughs> My solo navigation skills have kind of gone down a little bit ever s I mean, I don't want to make multiple trips. Gonna require multiple trips. There's a slime. Is it only if it's only slimes, then we're gonna be okay here. Well, I only have about fifty or so. Crap with that. There's most likely nothing in there. Let's go. I don't want to commit to these tattered metal sheets. Might have to. Jump. If there's anything this way. At least a light source. Um Okay. That's slightly better. Not quite enough yet. I'm just gonna hold on to this. I'm not confident that I'll be able to find my way back. Okay. Rude. Your door down here? Nice. That might be enough. Okay. Now I have enough, I just need to make my way back. Jump up here. I can probably make this jump right here. Yep. We'll grab this. Even though the other tattered metal sheet was worth more. Yeah, we'll just grab the other one on the way back. Now I've just made so much distance on that slime. I'm just gonna just close this. I don't remember making a j oh, okay, well. Why is this door closed though? I'm pretty sure I came through here, right? Yeah, we somehow find our way back. Um, I think it's this way. Maybe not. Um, over here? Definitely not. But definitely so, actually. Cool. Let's make sure. Yeah, this is good enough. We just like, gotta make it back now. We'll see if there's any outdoor enemies now. Because it's definitely uh, 
a time when outdoor enemies can spawn. Or at least that's what I think. If this has an outdoor spawn deviation similar to experimentation though, I should be okay. Um, enemies on experimentation tend to not spawn until around 10 p.m. I might be chilling here. I actually make just barely enough to meet first quota, but I'll have ne next round. I'll have flashlight. I'll have flashlight. I'll have a shovel, and we'll be able to go a lot farther. That said, I don't know if a uh, flashlight will be entirely necessary. If slimes are gonna, or not, not flashlight. Sorry, shovel. I don't know if a shovel will be entirely necessary. If uh, slimes are gonna be the main enemy that spawns. Because I can't kill those anyway. Not in this version. Not in base vanilla company. Vanilla company. Damn. Lethal company. My words are not wording today. But we are at least meeting profit quotas. Oh. As long as I don't die to this terrain here. And even though I'm going back into the fog, I should be able to scan the ship. We'll be good. Yeah, let's see, like it's already taken me like two hours in game time just to get this far. Now I just walk straight and I'll eventually get there, I think. I don't have to walk, I can run too. I'm under the pipe. Which means I might want to move right. Dang, maybe I don't make it back to the ship, what? Hmm. Well, the ship's gonna be all the way at the edge, I think. You know what, and the terrain's stopping me from scanning it as well. Hmm. I don't know if a jetpack would save me here. I think it's, this is just gonna be a, a case of map familiarity. But, if I do make- okay, no, I see- I see this, and I actually hear the ship now. <laughs> Even though the main entrance is showing right here as well. It makes me wonder if there's actually an entrance there. Is that collected? But we can check on the next moon, and I can actually see. Um, the big bolt didn't collect. No, I'm just gonna carry everything. It doesn't look like it's working entirely. And we don't want any of this to despawn or we lose. That one's gonna stay there. And that, we just have to make sure we don't die every turn, every round. If, cause that's gonna be a regular thing. Leaving, I guess. I could close the door and then I would never go through, face through the door. If anyone's played this map and died there, let me know. 376. So, it's about, it's like slightly better, I guess. I don't know what I rolled on the first day. Um, I don't know why I went to the store. We go to the company building. 148, just barely. I did have one less day as well. Can I save any of this? Forty-four thirty-nine. I can actually save the tattered metal sheet for next time. And only the tattered metal sheet. Because this will bring me to like 134 or over. gonna meet quota in just two days. Much impressive while. Wow. And then if we might be able to get the jetpack on a future run. Get a pro flashlight. I think I'm gonna risk it and only get well We'll bring the shovel for now. Because we don't know for sure what does and what doesn't spawn here. 
And if I die, if I die, then runs over. I can afford to be a little bit slow in the first quotas. And then if we confirm that it's mostly slimes or only slimes, then I can ditch the shovel and have an extra inventory slot and stop spending so much on shovels. But I mean, I'm solo as well, so. I'm not going to be spending a lot of money anyway. As long as I have enough to go to duplicate this, we'll be okay. I could try TZPs for two-handed items. I could also just try... I could also just ignore two-handed items. <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing. Okay, 2.30. Kind of like middle of the road. Uh, second quota. Duplicate this. Is it always stormy? No, it's not always stormy. What am I thinking? I was just on a foggy variant. Let's see. There's so much text that I can't see what the weather is until it scrolls. I mean, I could just check the moon instead. Flooded? Okay. So I will leave the shovel here. We probably don't get too much here. I'm actually going to be ready to leave in case the flooded isn't working. Okay, looks like we're okay. Oh, there's bees. Nice. Worth 115. And then we can just run them right here. Okay, so it is worth B scanning on this map then. Okay. Got it. Oh my god, there's another beehive. And with that, I have quota. Or even going into the map. I do kind of want to stay though and see what flooded looks like. Okay. I think as long as the bees can go up this staircase, I can afford to put it right here. It also just collected. That's nice. I wonder if, if that has to do with, um,. The positioning of the ship, maybe? It seems like the positioning of the ship is slightly off. Which is allowing for that. And that might be why the the um, scrap was collecting weird as well. Um, I'm going to have to go at this at a weird angle, I think. We have the deadly mantic coils. These will aggro eyeless dogs. Wait, there's bees, but no hive. Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's um, let's see if I can collect my flashlight without aggroing these bees. Normally, you can hide behind the wall, and as long as you don't make line of sight with the bees, you can get pretty close to them. But I'm a little worried about how these ones specifically work. Looks like it's fine. That's one fifteen. Um, we're not in water yet. If we were in water, the stam my stamina would just be depleting. So, I mean, I do hear water though. So, may we're supposed to be underwater. There's supposed to be water here, but not quite working. That's fine. I would have had to leave a lot sooner otherwise, because trekking all this in water wouldn't be the greatest. At least now I can make it to the main entrance. It's not too bad at going this way. It is still farther than most moons, I think. Maybe it's not farther than Render Dine. I mean, the fact that both the fire exit and the main entrance are far, though, is kind of a... Uh, not great. Also, I gotta be careful entering these facilities if slimes are gonna be the main enemy, because they could just be camping the door. Okay, well, if I wanted to just take a full inventory, I could. Um, let's take a quick peek this way. Dead end. That's cool. That's actually a pretty high roll on the tattered metal sheet. 58. 
plus 115. Looking at about like 170 scrap collected so far on this moon. I'm not gonna go into the mist. Not by myself. When you play solo, you do have to play a little bit more risk averse, usually. Because when you die, your run is basically over. I mean, it's not as crucial early on, because you should be able to just meet Lakota anyway. Where's the fire exit? Um, I think I still play main entrance though, because fire exit's farther. I don't have mimics on. Uh, the only mod I have on is Duplictus. I think that was a snare flea, huh? Unless that was an ambient sound. I don't see an open vent or anything. Let's see if we can get one more. Or we can get a few items actually. Hopefully. Because now to get that big bolt I'm going to have to make at least two trips. So I might as well um, make use of the fact that I have to make two trips. And get more loot. Yeah, slime. Get a not get lost now either. Hmm? Holy Dude. I'm not down to fight a nutcracker in the mist. <laughs> I could aggro him out of the mist, but now this is for sure. This for sure means that it's worth bringing the shovel because killing a nutcracker can be huge for the run. I'm also lost. <laughs> it's not this way. I think it's through the security door. But I came through the security door. Dude, okay. Oh, there's a door there. Let's bring this to the fire exit in case I need to make the fire exit escape. This slime might catch up to me and make this jump a little difficult. Also get a peek of what the yeah, water level is non-existent. Go this way. Anything over here? No? Okay, I think... What time was it outside? I think we'll be okay with it. It's gonna take me some time to run this back. If the Nutcracker wasn't in the fog, I'd go fight it. But I don't want to engage it and not know what kind of positioning I need. Not with the slime behind me either way. So we've seen a few slimes, we've seen the Nutcracker. Nothing else yet. Flooded doesn't work. Foggy is kind of difficult to navigate. And Stormy is okay. I mean, Stormy is Stormy, but I should have disabled Lightning by leaving a scrap on day one. I wonder if there's an easier route back the ship than this dump right here. I don't know. Yeah going. I do kind of wish there was some out outdoor music here. And it just doesn't sound like much. Even if there was ambient sound. There's something constantly playing in the background. Like wind. Anything. I mean the track might have ran out also. Yeah it seems like this little Area is the fastest way to the main entrance, just here, there. Not too much parkour needing to be done. Um, still no water, which is good. I'm also remembering that we had a beehive. That's nice. Kinda wish it was two, but it was just two bees minus one beehive. Yeah, see, look, this isn't collecting. There. Then we just gotta go get the other two things. And even if I die here for whatever reason, I'll at least have the shovel and flashlight for next round. 454. Let's see if we can make it back in time. Hopefully there's no slimes just guarding the 
scrap that are left inside. I should consider leaving scrap outside on this map specifically, just because of the slimes. And in case I don't make it back. I think people leave the scrap inside, so that way, because it's, you save some time, or at least initial scrap collection doing that. You lose time every time you exit and re-enter re the building. I think it's probably, most of the time, it's better to lose that time when you're collecting scrap rather than when you're going deeper into the facility and getting it. That's my thinking anyway. Um, some people don't like leaving it inside in case hoarding bugs decide to try and steal it. But there's no... There's no catch-all answer, really. But I think um, for a solo play, it might be okay to drop it outside, especially on a map like this, where scrap might be kind of hard to come by any either way. Um, and if you lose scrap to a slime being at the door, with the slime being likely the most common spawn, then that's a very rookie mistake, because there's no counterplay to that. Other than going to the other entrance, and then finding it, and then luring it away, and trapping slimes. I'm also remembering that you can trap slimes, so I should do that whenever it makes sense. Slimes can't open doors in vanilla, so yeah. There are mods that can make slimes a bit more difficult to deal with by letting them open doors. And of course there's always the option of other monsters opening the doors for the slimes. But if I can just, uh, if I at least give myself a chance to basically invalidate the main enemy that's on this moon, then we can be in a really good spot. Okay, so I just gotta drop way in. I think we'll call that. There's actually water coming up now. But I'm not getting affected by it because my stamina is still here. Oh! Okay, hive running is going to be kind of crazy. I might be only limited to one each run. I'm going to hold this all the way through. Just to make sure I get to keep it. Oh wait, no. I, it procced when I first dropped it. That's why I'm not seeing it now. But yeah. Am I tripping or is it two-day quotas? Okay. Well, I mean, if it's two-day quotas, it's two-day quotas. Oh, uh, we got dust clouds. I've never actually seen what dust clouds do. So... I'm not gonna play around them. I also didn't B-scan again. Um, okay, well, we'll see if dust clouds do anything. I mean, there's very clearly a visual effect here. But the only- I mean, I've only had dust clouds on modded moons. And... Yeah, it didn't do anything. That I noticed, at least. So I'm just gonna play as if it's regular. It does kind of add like a nice little um, visual texture to the map. Hearing footsteps, even though there's nothing here with me, other than my own footsteps. Okay. Let's go. inside. Plastic fish right away, and we're gonna remember the rule that I'm following for this run. Drop outside. The door here, so... Ooh, bottles, nice. Let me just grab that for now. Anything quick? Um... I don't actually know- I, I'm just- I'm realizing now that the loot table for this was- or last moon was still only around like 300 or so. I guess that's slightly better than experimentation. Is it 60 credits better than experimentation though? I'm not entirely sure. It's not as good as Val, but Val is a bit more dangerous as well. 
I don't have to go very far here. I'm also, I should also scan. I'm just not remembering to do these things. We get a loot room. With no loot. Okay. I might just give the fire exit a go now. We have two entrances, so we should use them. It does feel weird. I'm not committing super hard on a moon that isn't crazy difficult. But I'm, you know, this is just how I've, I'm choosing to play right now. I did, I mean, I picked this so I can have a chill playthrough, so. Yeah. Drinking my mushroom coffee. I was holding W with my right hand. Had to do some, like, a. Uh, um, what, what, how would I say that? Um, something, something ergonomics. I hold W with my right hand and drink with my left. Why, why do I drink with my left hand when I'm right-handed? Probably because when I'm eating, I eat. I'm holding like my eating utensil with my right hand, so that way I can <laughs> eat and drink with um, uh, eat and drink efficiently, I guess. On a similar note, uh, I'm thinking about like um, how silverware and stuff is supposed to be placed on a table, and the steak knife usually goes on the right hand side if you're a righty, and a left side if you're a left handed person. But that was something that was hard for me to pick up because even though I'm right handed, I also cut a food with my left hand as well. Not when I'm prepping it, like when I'm when I'm actually working in a kitchen, I cut with the right hand, but when I'm eating, like a steak or something, I hold my steak knife with my left. And probably for a similar reason why I drink with my left as well. It doesn't make sense to me to switch the utensil side just for the cutting action, and then switch back to when you eat. Because I think when you're right-handed, you're supposed to hold the steak in place with your left hand, and then cut with your right. But then you have to switch back the fork back to your right hand before you eat it, unless you become a left-handed eater. And I think being a left-handed eater as a right-handed person is a bit more strange because now you have now you have to eat with your left hand for foods that don't even require cutting or anything. Unless you just unless you eat with or drink with your right hand also. But then there's people who eat with the right hand and drink with the right hand. And obviously this is all switched. If you're left-handed instead, but why over why overload one one side with responsibilities when you can kind of distribute it across different ones? I don't know, that's just kind of how I'm choosing to fill the time while running over to the fire exit here. It's 1:19 p.m. in game. Um, we'll have some time. Still haven't seen an outdoor monster. I think I'm leaving early enough. Nice. Got two engines in here. And I think this is farther down the hall. No, this is a different one. There was a similar structure on the other side. Um, on main entrance side, but that one was lit up. Okay, there's somewhere I'm not looking at. On this jump tile, I like jumping over the railing, because sometimes if I go for this opening, I get stuck on the side of the rail there and die. And it's embarrassing for the amount of hours that I have to die to something like that. Okay, there's mines. I should mine that. Mm. Looking for one-handed items. Locked. Now all of a sudden that key that I didn't pick up is looking real nice, but in my defense, um, I needed scrap. There's fog again. Let me just take one peek down this way. Okay. Looks like we're just running two V-types back. I'm not going to go in the fog right now. Close that so no slimes get in here. 53 loot. Okay. 
And then I wonder if it's fast if I can just drop this. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna learn some text for this. Um I'm actually gonna walk down this as well. Because if I'm gonna drop the engine there, I should have a way to come back to it. And yeah, it's, so it's gonna be over this way. Maybe that's why there's that, um, I don't know, that little cliff side there. We can drop stuff off the cliff instead of run it back all the way down. I can actually see the engine from here. That's cool. I'll be able to find it. So I just kind of have to w run towards the main entrance, it seems, and then... Actually, no. On the way there, I don't have to do that. On the way there, I can just run towards the fire exit and then drop down. And I'll get there. But on the way back, it's pretty intuitive. I don't see myself doing that on Foggy. I think on Foggy, I just go down the stairs and don't and not get lost. You know, um, in one of my previous videos, someone recommended that I list that I should listen to classical music while I'm playing, or just listen to mu like chill music in general when I'm playing Lethal Company. I usually don't like listening to music when gaming, for the most part, for a few reasons. One, as a gamer, it kind of just listening to external music distracts me from the gameplay quite a bit, and uh, yeah, I'd rather just fully immersed with whatever in-game sounds that the games decided to offer and also uh, the second reason is for the viewing experience sometimes I um, people just they watch or they, they put the videos in the background and or they, they watch the, vi their, the videos while listening to their own music and if I put music into my videos then it can clash with whatever music they're currently listening to and that's not a good option either and then the third is that depending on the music it can get copyrighted and then the video will get demonetized at least on my end the money will still go to someone else but yeah i won't get returns from it monetarily at least which um wouldn't be that cool <laughs> um even when it comes to classical music too like, even if it's already on public domain, depending on the recordings, people can still get the rights to those recordings, so... Classic, like, classical music and a lot of old tracks, you still kind of have to be careful about using them when it comes to copyright. Because if you get a modern recording of the public domain piece, then people can claim the rights to those sometimes. But don't don't quote me on that. I, I just know that based on... Like Twitch VODs in the past being muted and YouTube videos being monetized for using classical stuff. Not really, a, not a lawyer at all. So don't take legal advice from me, but it is just a rule of thumb, generally. But in this case, there isn't any noise happening other than the footsteps that I'm doing. So anything in the background would be nice. I might even just, if, there, if there's like a loop for outdoor sounds in Lethal Company, like one hour of experimentation outdoor or something, then uh, I can put that in the back. I can put that in the background, but then I'd have to turn it on and off whenever I enter and leave a facility. I don't really want to do that either. Um, the one type of music that does work every time though is some video game music. So maybe I'll put some video game music on in the background. There's a dog, but I think that dog's stuck based on. Uh, my experience with the the bees earlier. Kind of want to test it. Hello. Hey. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hello. Hello. Why does it want to go back in that corner, though? Okay, well... They work, but they just go into a corner for some reason. 
Okay. But 13 more objects, huh? I'm gonna close that before I've... Huh? Okay, I'm on top of the ship now. That's a crazy way to do that. <laughs> Okay. 130 Oh, 526. Okay. That is better than experimentation and val. That's worth 60. For sure. All right, this isn't enough to get me a jetpack. So, I think I just meet the quota and then worry about the jetpack later. I probably get the jetpack next run. I could consider just buying a bunch of like flashlights and shovels. Wait, hold on. I was I was going into automatic Iron Man mode. About to sell everything. But I don't have to sell everything. 230 Oh, that's like 120. 239. Is there something worth 29 in here? There's something worth 30. I can take this large axle worth 38 out and then grab this V type instead. And this should be 231. Yeah. See, I'm not actually bad at math, guys. <laughs> just, uh, sometimes math isn't a crazy priority. I just want to do quick math and move on with the run. I think, well, this is also, I also shouldn't be having problems with this level of math, right? I don't know why he opened so early. But that's okay. Okay, we should be good to go. And we still have 128 left in the ship. And hopefully I can do better this quota. 250, I should have checked if the jetpack was on sale. I should always check if the jetpack is on sale. In this particular case. I'm not used to actually being able to buy items, you know. <laughs> 369. I actually might need this scrap for this. But let's go back. Especially spending 60 every time, it's going to be kind of hard to get that. Or it's going to take me a little bit. Um, I'm just going to start checking moons, dust clouds again, so basically no weather again. I feel like I should be checking- I should check fire exit first, because I can hit main entrance on the way back. Yeah. I also didn't B-scan again. And I should B-scan. Because... If I get- if I like... If I strike out on loot again, the bees might save me. Dude, I, I might actually put background music on. <laughs> hmm. Did something leave the facility just now? What was that sound? I didn't see a mask at the main entrance, so might be hearing things. Might have been in real life. Yeah, cause path, path I have to take if I drop stuff off the cliff is back towards the main entrance anyway. But we're doing this first. This one's also farther. Uh, I like checking the farther entrance first because um, the 
like navigating to and from the ship from the closer entrance is tends to be easier in eclipsed weather conditions or just at nighttime when enemies are out and about in general. Twenty-eight. Cool. Anything down here? No. Oh, we're at the main entrance. Okay, so we can just take the fire exit or this engine to the main entrance because we don't play fire exit anymore. Um. Okay, let's go into the light first. Oh, server room with the entire middle piece missing. That's kind of cool. And 50 axle, that's a good roll. Okay, we're about like 80 here. And now we have a room to trap slimes in. I'm gonna hope I don't have to use that room though. It's kind of far. Go this way. This door is open already. I didn't open this. Maybe doors just start open sometimes. Candy is kind of funny. Okay. I will have to go into the steam if I want to progress on this moon. Something that, okay, let's just turn this off. And hopefully we can see now. Don't know why that door was open. The loot room straight ahead. Laser pointer, nice. Good find. 85. Let's see what this is from afar. Oil head. It's only a matter of time till it gets here. I might just dip. What the? What is that? Is that actually a mask? It is. But he has weird movement. I did hear a mask leave earlier. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, let's have. Let's just not play that game. <laughs> I heard it earlier, like at the very beginning, I heard the door open. Maybe I don't listen to music then, because there's no way I hear that. It was such a low, like a low sound. That's that's the other reason. Sometimes music just drowns out sound cues that are important. I have some friends that would play Valorant while listening to music and that kind of tripped me out. Like that's almost all sound cues. Aim sound, aim sound cues. And communication. Um, those aren't beehives over there. Those are mantic coils. Seems like outdoor enemies just spawn over in that corner there. Oops. I will bring the shovel. Coil heads and mask can spawn here. Coil heads automatically make this moon more dangerous than experimentation because coil heads can't spawn on experimentation. Same go for mask. Mask can't spawn on the free moons in vanilla, but I guess this isn't a free moon, so it's fair. I saw that. Um. Oh, never mind. Different. Different moon. I was thinking of a different modded moon that specializes in having masks. And I'll consider doing that in a future video, so I won't um, spoil which moon that is for now. But I did, I did look through a different rotation of modded moons, and this is the one I landed on. Definitely is an easier moon for sure. This is kind of like the chill experience I was looking for. So it's cool. I just wish the entrances were a little bit closer, and that there was some outdoor ambiance, sound-wise. 
I could play around the coil head. But playing around a coil head in solo is pretty tough. Can't trap them behind security doors. I could consider bringing a stun grenade and moving forward, but I think it'll be better to just play around it normally. If I bring the stun grenade, if I bring the stun grenade, then I'm using too many slots. I have the shovel, flashlight stun, and then I'll just have to do a bunch of juggling. I take the shovel always though, because of the presence of nutcrackers. Yeah, because Nutcrackers will give the shotgun, I can make fighting a lot easier, and also the shotguns can be sold for scrap, which is nice. I could also just keep the shotgun and use it as a Nutcracker farmer, because then, yeah. If I kill, if I use a shotgun to kill a Nutcracker, and I get another shotgun with more bullets, is kind of good. Okay, it says I have three days this time. So we're gonna operate under the assumption that I actually have three days to work with. Um, and here, I think it's better for me to just close the door and end up on top of the ship and have to play that running minigame. I bet that if I just stay there, I'll be taken off the ship. 493, yes, better than Val and experimentation. I haven't found an apparatus yet, but I also ha No, yeah, it just jumped from three days to one. Okay, so... Something's wrong here. We get dust clouds again. We now have the shovel in the first slot. Rather than the second. Because... The flashlight's gonna be the first one to go from my inventory. Because I I just need the shovel to fight masks. Because if I go back to the ship and there's a mask in there. I mean I could play around it, but I think the best play around masks is just to kill them. I used to not like running around with the shovel in like my first hundred hours of Lethal Company, just because I liked having the extra inventory slot. But I also wasn't very combat heavy or combat focused in my playthroughs back then. But now that I'm capable of killing pretty much every enemy in the game, it's just this this is a run extender for sure. Back then we would just leave at the site of any danger, but you don't have to do that if you can just take care of the danger yourself. And most dangers can be taken care of nowadays. I actually could uh, I could deal with coil heads if I have the right room for it. Because that big room with like all the hallways and stuff and the metal pipe in the middle, you can get coil heads, coil heads, dusters, etc. all stuck on a little box. Mansion interior. Okay. Speaking... So now coil heads are a bit more oppressive. Cause you can get coil heads stuck on this map also. But oh wow. Okay. Connects to the main room. I don't even get to say talk about like the strategies of finding the main room. It seems. You can actually drop this a bit closer to the main entrance by going all the way over here. I wonder what the spawn chances are for mansion interiors. I do kind of wish that the people who make modded moons and stuff can also share their spawn tables everything. I understand why you wouldn't. Maybe so that way people can have like the surprise factor of going there, but I think having the option would be cool. And um, add like the fun facts and whatnot about the moon whenever I make videos for it. Big bolt. Two one-handed items. I should never get lost in a mansion. Not with the door frame and the door strats. 
Nothing in here. Get a kitchen over here though. There tends to be stuff in here. But not not on a map like not on a map like this, apparently. Hmm. I think we're gonna stay on one floor. We don't need a whole lot to meet quota here. But we do have to go kind of deep because the main entrance and fire exit are like right next to each other. Looks like we are going upstairs anyway, but to no avail. There are other ways to check. So we do want to go wide. Go wide whenever possible. Okay. That's just an ambient sound. We go back here. I don't think I have enough yet. Oh, there's a large axle actually. That makes it enough. This door is open. Dude, there's just doors that start open. Oh god! Bro. Never mind, they don't start open. <laughs> they get open. Yeah, I actually meet quota with this, so. Oh, and the bottle's outside as well. Start running this stuff back. The door there. Actually, a door there too. Nice. Keep going. So that's new enemy. Let's see if there's anything here before we go back for that steering wheel. No, but this is a room that I can trap something in on the way back. If need be. And check this opening over here as well. It seems like we're just gonna have a lot of open doors. We get a fish. To kind of make use of our inventory slots if we can. Put that there. We're gonna have to make at least two trips having two um two two-handed items, and I think this is good. We do need time to take this all back, so... Close that behind us. And uh, add friction between us. Make sure that no enemies can come here. I also haven't looked checked downstairs yet. Um, if there were a mask outside, I'd probably see it, given how much trouble the mask had navigating this map. 241. I will check the downstairs too, just because it's close. Okay. Don't have to commit too hard to it. We don't want to because we do need time to shuttle stuff back. That is something to, else to consider when you play solo. You do have to take back all the loot that you get. Well, you don't have to, but you personally have to take the loot back is what I'm trying to say. So if you don't, you can get all this loot, but if you don't have time to actually bring it back to the ship, then it doesn't matter all that much. Okay, we'll take this. I don't want to go any much further than that without a flashlight. Even though mansion is pretty well lit, but I mean, look at this part. This is kind of dark. Okay. Drop this. Plastic fish. Big bolt. Bottles. Drop the tattered metal sheet. Actually, 
We'll do it like this. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. I can outplay the mast out in the open better than I can at the ship. Because... Oh, mm. Yeah, this is right. I wonder if it's even right to aggro the mask outside, because that mask on the previous run wasn't even doing much. He was just kind of getting stuck in the um, terrain. But this is... This is the best run on this moon I've done so far. I think we'll get here with no issues. We'll even make it back with, without any issues. Question is if I go in again. I could charge my flashlight and consider it, but I would only get maybe one more trip. Nah, I'd probably have to go in too far. We don't have to charge that. Nice. We at least meet quota. I don't have ship loot on, so I can't see the exact scrap value that I have, but it should be good enough. Um, well, I mean, it should be more than 361 at least. After I sell, I'll have a better idea of what I'm looking at. I could probably go for quite a bit on this moon if it were a three-day quota like normal, but two-day quota is going to kind of cut time short a little bit. Well, that's also fine because I'm still going to film with Nico at some point after this. So I don't want to go on too long of a run when I still have that filming opportunity. Yeah, I wouldn't really have time to go back to the main entrance, I don't think. It, I'd have time to take a quick peek. But this isn't a generation for a quick peek. Whenever the fire exit and the main entrance spawn next to each other, like that just means that if you want if there if you don't get loot at the entrances of those, you do have to go deeper into the into the map generation. And the deeper you go, the less likely you are to come back out, usually. Especially solo or with less people. It's all, it also, like, even if it's not as dangerous, it's also just more time that you have to spend running to get scrap. You, you just objectively have to go, like, run longer distances. Okay. Yeah, if if I ran there now, I would probably only have time to run there and then run back. About to be 8.30 on the ship when I drop this stuff off, pretty much. Okay, well, I'll get back a little bit faster than I thought. Cool. Charge that. <laughs> and through the pipe. Imagine if the pipe was solid. That's probably why it's not solid, actually, maybe. That way you don't die every time you take off. <laughs> 180 v 5 of 527. Probably not a map that you're supposed to solo. Okay. Big building. Or a 369. I scanned for less than that, but I know for a fact that I have enough. Let's start getting rid of some of... Well, I mean the low cost stuff can be nice. It's, let's at least start making piles. Okay. 
fish. Bearing wheel. Big bolt. Candy laser pointer. 50, 44, 38. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep some of the lower value stuff just because it could probably, like, get me to where I need photo wise at some point. 182, 369. Yeah, we need to sell quite a bit of stuff here. Start with these. See where this takes us. 207. And 251. Two eighty nine. Three thirty nine. Okay. 339 plus 21. Okay, we don't have anything that gets us there exactly. But 23 is close enough. 23 is the closest we get. Wait. 31 only brings us to 260. 369. Let's just sell this and then see what we need. Instead of trying to do this mental ma math back and forth. Fourth. 339. I actually need 30 exactly. And I think I do have 30 exactly. Because one of these is worth 20 and one of one's worth 10. make sure yep cool make sure these are the right ones as well cool horrible bell rng We still have 120 on the ship. Not fantastic. I'm probably not gonna make another quota. I don't even make enough to get this jetpack. Well, the jetpack will be my motivation to actually complete this next quota then. If I can complete. I can't sell everything and get a big enough bonus. To get a jetpack. If I was overselling on the other ones, I probably would have. But yeah, my reward for beating this next quota is the jetpack, and then we'll probably just get one quota with the jetpack. 511. So I need to make like 400 basically. That's 200 per moon. Okay. Click this. Um, oh, flashlight is 50% off. Doesn't matter, because the jetpack's not. Okay, fire exit again. Okay. Go right here, without taking damage, cool. Slightly optimizing our route. I still haven't scanned for bees, and I have only scanned for items mid-run. <laughs> Horrible person to be showcasing maps, but it is what it is. I just be out here gaming. I think it's a result of playing so much Slice and Dice. I've only had the game for like three or four days, but I already have almost 30 hours in that game. Kind of, kind of an issue of how fun it is. Um... See if I can make the jump here. Yep. And in that game, sometimes I just be sending next game, not thinking too hard about 
talking about things or checking out all the info, which is something I've gotten back to doing in my more recent runs, um, which haven't made it to YouTube yet. Those, the ones where I finally snap back to reality are after a few of more of the Slice and Dice uploads that are coming up. It is what it is. Okay, go again. Oh, oops, I left away on accident. Mansion interior again. Okay. Not opposed. I wonder what the spawn chances are. And depending on if we find anything, on what we find here, might just play main entrance. It's gonna be like a reverse fire exit challenge. It's gonna be the main entrance challenge where you enter through the fire exit and leave through the main entrance. I think some people would find that more difficult in some cases. Well, not really. The difficulty in doing that is for like the moons that uh, are harder to get to the fire exit are mansion ones anyway. And then once you make it to the mansion, you're pretty much good. Because you could just use the, um, the doorway strats to find your way. The only exception is offense that has a skill jump, and then, yeah. I still haven't perfected the indoor facility navigation text, because it's not as consistent as the mansion ones. The mansion I'm pretty good, like we're going deeper into the facility right now. That's okay. We get three two-handed items. I think I might actually want to play main entrance. Yeah. At least that way, I can guide myself somewhat consistently. I feel like I'm already lost. Uh-oh. I want to find the old pile of two-handed stuff that I had. Probably this way. No. Uh-oh. We're gonna lose before we even have a chance to win? I think it's this way. Okay, this ended up working out. Never punished. And this is the way back to the fire exit. Yep. Okay. Just, just gonna show this to the fire exit and then we're gonna go to the main entrance through the mansion and hopefully find stuff on the way there. I don't have a lot of flashlight left, which is why I'm kind of conserving it right now. I could drop the shovel and flashlight while I'm doing this to save some room or to save some stamina. I'm gonna drop the flashlight, but not the shovel. You never know what's gonna happen in between this run. Something could end up killing me. And that wouldn't be cool. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these all outside. And then we're gonna run to the main entrance. From inside. a little sus. We're gonna make it work. Oh, that's real bad. That's real bad that I fell right there. Not as bad as I thought. If this has to be a skill jump that I can make it back from. I tried just dropping it, dropping this off, 
But I ended up running as well. I might need some stamina to do this. Just walk. Okay. Can. I mean, this is still faster than running all the way around at least. Man, what a throw. Cause my flashlight's up there. <laughs> mm, maybe I should have left the large axle. We're, we're falling apart here. I only need 200. It's about 100 altogether. Huh? Oh, that's bad. See that? That's something I was trying to avoid. Oh no, it happened twice. No! And I've left the. F oh, I left my flashlight too. I actually. I think I have to get it. I can't. No, I can. I can leave and come back and get a new flashlight. I can afford it. I'm just gonna have to cut my losses there. I just left 50 scrap, just about right there. I'm gonna have to get pretty lucky at the main entrance here, and then I'm gonna have still have to make time to go back for that large axle. I might have to land leave a few times. And ditch the shovel also. And say goodbye to the jetpack whenever I do that. But actually, I can afford to do it almost every time. As long as I have 200 scrap left over, I'll be able to afford the jetpack. No, I, I would need like 260, but that's not something I should be worrying about right now. I think I should be more focused on actually completing the quota first. Get lucky. That's unlucky, actually. It's one of the worst spots that the spot slime could be at right now. Because he's gonna, um, he's gonna block the main entrance. He's also slowing me from going up right now. He's just going into the floor. Any freebies? No, I'm gonna have to work for it. Okay. Battered metal sheet. Can't see. I pray that my scans work really well. Be like, this is why flashlight's such a good item. I can just look down these hallways and see if there's stuff. But now I have to actually run into range of the scan in the dark. Isn't ideal. See, I could have saved time but by just flashing down the hallways here. Um, I saw a little shiny. Huh? Oh, I'm. Not finding anything. I wonder what the map complexity is on this map. Because it says there's a lot of items, but I'm not finding a lot of items. I have found that like on almost every interior, like modded. Okay, well we're at the fire exit again. I th I think it's better if I actually go for. Hmm. It's more profitable for me to go for one of these engines right now and try to get off the cliff than to get that tattered metal sheet. Maybe we make another run back. Oh, we can get the flashlight back too. Sick. Yeah, I don't have time. I have to pick one and hopefully get it. 
No, I tried I tried grabbing, dropping, and grabbing and potentially getting both. Because I would have time to grab. Would I have time to grab both? I don't know. Might have to be a risk I take though. We kind of need to hurry this up here. Oh, I don't have... I don't have my grab button down to my mouse right now. Also, but... My mouse button kind of... Kind of losing functionality as well. Like the side mouse button. I do have a backup mouse, but... The buttons are not nearly as good. Oh, I still need to go back and grab the large axe too. So I, I'm actually required... Go make another run. But that one's a lot closer than this. Maybe I just get bailed out by a big hive next round. But also, I wonder if going to the company building is counting as a day contributed to the quota quota. But it did it did just jump from three to one, but that's not really my fault. That's the one dog outside. I dropped the shovel and flashlight so I can be a little bit lighter and hopefully make it in time. I should have left it. I should have dropped them sooner though. As soon as I realized that I can just um, go back and buy more stuff, that's when I should have ditched it. It's gonna be real close. Nine forty nine. I mean, we got here in like an hour, I think. I guess um, it doesn't get dark out. If it were dark out, I'd have no shot here. That's kind of nice. Nighttime is a bit more immersive, but I mean, we're gaming out here right now, and we have to. We have to game a little bit harder next time because kind of goose egged here. But that is one of the um it just happens sometimes like that. Even though the like the loot is like the loot table shows that there's better loot, but when the map complexity is or the map generations are in a way where you can't get to the loot. And I mean, we have runs like this. Again, probably not balanced for solo. All the outdoor enemies are stuck in that corner, so. Yeah, out exterior seems to be pretty safe here. Gotta make sure to collect this as well. Close this, and then don't touch anything, and you'll just end up on the ship. Oh, actually, if you don't touch anything, you stay in the ship. Uh, it's, I only clipped up because I was moving, it seems. I might have actually been able to make it in time if I'm holding the shovel and flashlight. Let's see how much... 69 of 586? Yeah, I don't know if that... That didn't really feel like a 586 moon to me. Okay. Go to the company building. We're not selling. We're gonna... Oh wait, I could have just bought on this planet. But I think... I'm doing this because I need all the time I can get. A pro flashlight. I'm actually just not gonna bring a shovel. I think Nutcracker- oh! Snare flea. Pro flashlight for sure. And also, a Nutcracker shotgun would be huge for the run as well. reason why I'm going to the company building is because if I waited on the planet, well one, I'm not positive if the dropship works on the planet, and then if it doesn't work then that's just run over. Second is because even if it did work, I would have to spend time waiting for my equipment. And as you can, as you saw in that last run, I'm going to need every second I can get to be able to secure loot. And that half hour or so that I'm waiting 
for the ship can be the difference. If I if I bought items that round, I would have made it back just in time, I think. Like right as midnight happened. And I didn't even get a crazy amount of loot, you know. Okay. The bee scan is imperative here. But I feel like the bee the bees are just gonna spawn right next to the ship. Based on what I saw last time. And maybe just maximum one beehive, but one beehive will go crazy here. Especially a good one. One beehive might be necessary. <laughs> so now I'm looking at like 322 to meet quota. Gotta duplicate this. I should have bought TZPs also. But if I'm using TZP and I can't even navigate properly, then it is what it is. I mean, I'm gonna greet it. Okay, we do this, then we prepare the B scan. And, and the regular item scan at that point, too. Yes, 19 objects. See, like, it's pretty promising number wise. No bees based on the scan. But whether or not I actually get all 19 objects is a different story. Maybe I should have just doubled down on the main entrance. Yeah, I'm going to double down on the main entrance having it. Because I just need to be able to... I don't think I can afford to run back and forth from the fire exit here. I have to make it back fast enough. If there are indeed 19 objects, then I should find enough of them here. To make at least two inventories. Well, that I mean, I guess that's half the loot, isn't it? I guess it would be out of like out of the ordinary to expect half the loot to be on this side and half the loot to be on that side. And I know that's not how map generations work, but it's um at least a mental figure you can put in your head. If I'm lucky here, they'll be spawned right next to each other. I don't know if that actually that's not really lucky. Then it I mean it would mean that I didn't waste time going to the fire exit. The mine. But it would mean I would have to go pretty deep. Get a large axle. There's a thumper. Speaking of luck. Wow, okay. It's actually just right here, that's crazy. This is good, we just get AD off for it. Actually, we'll leave him for now. Okay. Very unlucky generation, it seems. I mean, I'd rather have a thumper over like a coil head. At least I have the chance of killing these. What? Oh my god. Probably back this way. Whoa. Bro. Come on. What is that? Dude, okay. See, like... My mouse is not good. But also, it just never aggroed on me. What a horrible encounter. At least we're seeing loot, though. I would have preferred if it aggroed on me, actually. Because then it's a bit um, easier to control that way. Still not enough loot. Okay. 
Still not enough, but we're at least getting loot this time. Another loot room. Key. Pick that up in case we come across a locked door. If we get a decent amount here, I think we'll check fire exit. No, fire exit's... Nice. This might be enough. There's even more down that way. It's so far. <laughs> well, we line ourselves up with the vent that the thumper came out of. And, oh, okay, well the thumper can be our visual guide as well. 49. Wow. But look how many trips I have to make. Two fifty seven. Oh, wait. Okay, I have enough. I think I'll take it just so I can jetpack on this map. I also might need all the time I can get to just make all the trips back and forth. That's so many two-handed items. I'm also critically injured, so I might just have to gamble on this. 251 though, I might be a little short. I guess we'll figure it out and then yeah I, I just want to make sure I have enough time to bring this all back if I don't then I, I pray that I have enough time to go to the fire exit at least the two-handed items are worth a decent amount let's just start grabbing That was a mask, wasn't it? You die. Okay. I won't go gentle into that. Good night, it seems. Better start running. Okay. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> if, I, if I miss, then I lose time. kind of weird like my finger configuration to do that that's why I had it bound to the mouse button but I think throughout the years the mouse like the bottom mouse button has just kind of um, over extended its use I also just held down shift for a long time there and lost a lot of time from that because it doesn't recover stamina if you're holding shift even when you're walking And I will collect this, because I don't know if I have enough time to not collect it. Looks like I have to collect all the way in the back, though, or like, through the middle. Okay. Make sure it all collects. 
Okay. Keep going. If the mask weren't on this map, I probably wouldn't have to play in silence. I could probably put some background music on. But it's a kind of a big deal if there's a mask or if there's not. The only enemy that can go outside, you know. Um, let's see. I didn't scan. I mean, it doesn't matter if I scan or not. One thirty nine, and it just dialed in right now. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to figure out um, a button lay or like a finger layout to where I can. Do this all. I'm kind of holding backwards with my ring finger, then dropping with my index and picking back up with my middle. And then I can shift with my pinky, but I have to make sure that I'm that I don't run into a wall when I'm running backwards. So I think I might just do it on the straightaway there. But that time, diff it, like the time save, might matter. This is also just good for me to learn. I think eventually. And really maximize it. Okay, I, I tried scanning there. But it didn't let me scan. 722. I get there. 820. 920. 1020. 1120. 1120. Okay. I think there's only two. Oh, no, there's three. There might be one. One trip short. We'll see though. I might be able to make it back faster now that I'm not carrying as much. But it looks like it's going to take about an hour each way. Slightly under. See if I if I mess it up, it's a big time loss, I think. Okay, another mask is spawned. I just heard the door open. Dang it! I feel like I feel like I do have to make it back though, like with both items. Okay, even so, it was still about an hour both ways. And the shovel's at the entrance over here. But I do have to deal with this mast right now. I can also just outrun it. But if it, if it does end up tracking fine, because the dog was tracking fine after it aggroed on me, I think. But if this mask is able to actually catch up to me then it's over yeah it's right there it's going to the ship ah it was able to navigate fine this time I think I will have to dang it I don't have enough time to get that last one so I'm gonna have to hope I grabbed enough I don't think I did though well, at least grab the one that's worth more. No, see, that's that's the risk I I take, but I think I have to do it. The mask isn't gonna be behind me. It's gonna be at the ship. I guess the ship's behind me still too. No, I definitely don't have enough time. 
It's about two hours. Both ways. Even if I was able to optimize it, it would be like maybe hour and a half. Or hour 15. I need time to kill the mask as well. Depending where he's at. Okay, let's just kill him. Yeah, I don't make it back. No way. Hopefully it was enough. If it... Oh. Even though I didn't move. Okay, if I got, if I did a little bit better on literally any one map, I think I would, would have made it. Two seventy-two. Yeah, I. Well, the last, the thing I left behind was worth forty-four. The fact that I only have two days is crazy. Okay. Definitely have to sell everything. I might have been short anyway. I might have been short by like five. The last piece I left was like worth 44. Dang it. It is what it is. Once I saw how big of a map I was getting versus how much scrap I was getting. I kind of knew that I wouldn't get very far. But I think if I had like spawn, uh, scrap spawns like I did on this last day, I might have been able to go a little bit farther, at least far enough to get a jetpack, you know? Jetpacks are life. doing it like this so that way we can um, sell more stuff before he opens up. tripping. I'm not good. <laughs> 341 plus 96. Oh man, even with that large axle I wouldn't have made it. Large axle is worth 44 I think. Yeah, I was 5 short exactly. Dang. At least we can buy the jetpack now. <laughs> we do get the jetpack, yay. But even if only for this. But yeah. Final thoughts on the moon. I like the I like the color scheme that's going on on the outside, and uh, it's a really like easy on the eyes uh, color palette. Um, the amount of scrap is good for the cost. Um, but I think the map complexity might just be a little bit too much for the amount of scrap that's on there. Um, enemies are cool. Like, there is a cost there, so it shouldn't be, like, as safe as experimentation. Um, so that was fine. Coil heads, masked, 
Nutcracker, Thumper. Mm. The out I mean the outdoor enemies were a little bit bugged because they kept going to that one corner. Same same thing with bees as well. And uh yeah, dust clouds don't really do anything, but I don't think that's that's not this uh modder's fault. I just don't think dust clouds do anything other than provide visuals. Uh, one more thing. I kinda wanna see if you can scale this. Like you can on Val. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe there was extra care given to this. Maybe on one of the other ones. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, I'll at least take our jetpack with us for ejection. I'm now critically injured. Get to the thing a little bit faster. Do some flips. <laughs> Charge before we get ejected. But yeah, this again, this map is Duplictus by Sleek Team. I'll have a link to the mod in the description below. And yeah, if you want to see more solo content, let me know. I'll be, I'll, st I'll find a way to make it interesting for me and keep it interesting for you guys. And uh, yeah, still gonna do group content as well. Let's see if we can jetpack our way out of this. Doesn't seem like it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. GG's. Let's get some stats before we go. Oh, something opened right there. <laughs> Wasn't me. Let's see what it was. 13 days on the job, 1195 scrap value collected, zero deaths, and 52,000 steps taken. Yeah, that's a lot of steps. That's more steps than what I do on my normal runs. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. See y'all in the next video. Peace.